Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see about bit instructions. So you can find in the bit option in the bit menu. We have seen this one shot, one shot rising and one shot falling. So let's see what is the function of these instructions. So just study about. Let's start study about this one shot first. So what I'm going to do means just delete this in a run. I'm just going to take this. So see if you have taken the one shot instruction, it is coming over here. So this one shot is not a output instruction, right? So this is not a output instruction. So you should you can connect one output after this, right? So I'm connecting one more output here. I'm just giving the you know description as lamp fine so what is this one shot what exactly it will do i'll tell you so for that i'm going to have one more run let's put this yeah put this here let's take one input and just give any name right and let's take one more output here lamp 2 so one shot is asking a question mark so just give a memory address like b3 colon 0 slash 0 right just give on uh, you know memory address and the description is already there it is as m0 right so for this one shot i'm going to have one input so let's take one more different input right so that's fine. So why I have taken two rungs is to explain you what is the difference between this rung and this rung. See, this input is directly connected with the lamp, but the second input is connected with one shot to the lamp. Right? There is one shot in between input and output. So what exactly the name one shot? What exactly it is going to do means instead of giving the continuous pulse, it is going to give just single pulse. Right. What is a single pulse mean? Just only once it will give. So I'll go online and I'll show you. Just watch here. So if I turn on, this is continuously on, right? This is normal. Whenever you are turning on an input, this output is continuously on because this is continuously giving pulses to this, right? But check out this input. Can you able to see the turn on of, you know, lamp 2 was on for the second. So just check out now again. Yeah, you have seen now. Yes. So it is because of this one shot instruction, the input you are giving through this, right? So it is exactly giving only one shot to the lamp, right? So just check it again. See? Only once it happened, right? So this is one shot instruction. Instead of giving continuous pulses, it will be just giving only one shot, right? So you can find application of such instructions in uh, you know laser cutting. Okay, you are able, you are uh, cutting some hard uh, component, okay, or maybe it may be anything, right? So instead of giving continuous pulses, if you are giving single single pulses, it will not make a deep cutting and all it should be exactly how you required right so like that it is giving only one pulse so you can also check how it is giving pulses by using a counter also so i'll just take a counter and for counter this one shot is the input fine just see i'm just giving counter address and i'm giving three as a preset fine I am giving 3 as a preset. Just go online and check. Just check. The counter accumulated value will be increasing. See, I am giving the first one. See, accumulated value is increased because it got one pulse. No. Counter is not that whether it is continuous pulse is not needed for the counter. Counter need just to one count means just one pulse happened. That's what it counted one. Can you see? It counted one. 
So if I turn on and I'll give again count two. That's it. Even I think you can find this fellow is also turning on. Because run condition goes on for that one second. No. See. Yeah. It is three. So done bit is on. So like that you can use one shot in between the instructions. So obviously since it is not output instruction you should connect the output after this. Not, that may be a coil or that may be a counter or timer anything. Right. Fine. So this is one shot. So what may be this one shot rising. So in the name itself is telling you now one shot rising is like whenever the input is turning on from 0 to 1. Whenever it is going to change from 0 to 1 it is rising right. So that is what it is rising edge. So whenever the input is changing from 0 to 1 that time it will give 1 pulse. Right. So this one you no, know, this one shot rising right that is the output instruction. See. If I take it will go this side and moreover the block is asking two question mark one is storage bit another one is output bit for both I am going to give the memory address so I will give b3 colon 0 slash 1 also right so I am giving two address here one for storage another one is for out, out, output bit so this bit no this output bit I am going to give input as a timer uh, sorry counter so for counter I'm giving one shot rising output bit right so just check whenever it is going on it will give pulse I, it is somehow exactly equal to one shot see I'm going to turn on this it will give one pulse can you see if I turn off nothing will happen if you again turn on because now it is zero it is going to change to one yeah Okay, it gave 2. Now again see. That's it. 3. Right. So this is one shot rising. So 0 to 1. It is rising. You know, the slope is like rising. Right. That's what it is. One shot rising. If the same input is. Let's take a branch. Right. Let's take a branch. And take one shot falling. The next instruction. This is also output instruction. Just give here. So give some other you know memory address b3 colon 0 slash 3 2 and b3 colon 0 slash 3. I will give this and let us take one new run one new out input with countdown. Let us take a countdown. Okay. So I am going to give the output bit of one shot falling. 3. So what it will do yeah, this this instruction will do where it will give pulse when it changing from 1 to 0. The, the you know the curve is coming down right that slope is coming down from 1 to 0 that is what it is called as falling edge. Yeah I, I have taken a down counter and I am giving the same counter number and I will give 3 here right. Fine, got it. Let's go online. So for understanding, I have taken the counter up and counter down. You can use anything as per your project requirement, right? See, I'm I'm this this fellow no, this fellow is connected with one shot rising and a one shot falling. So one shot rising is connected with counter up and one shot falling's output bit is connected with down counter, right? So I'm going to turn on from zero to one. So this fellow will give pulse. So, it will change to 1. See. Can you see? It is changed to 1. Now, I am going to turn off this. Like 1 to 0. So, now, this will be giving pulse which will make the accumulator value back to 0. Just check. Yeah, that is it. Right. So, this is giving pulse from 1 to 0. This will be 0 to 1. Just check again. Again. Now we cannot increase the counter value more than 1. It will be 1 only because I am using both the counters. Right. So this is the bit instruction. This is one shot rising, one shot falling and we have seen the one shot instructions also. These three are the bit instructions. Fine. So I will meet you in the next session with latching and unlatching coil.
Until then, bye.